Welcome to the Magic Castle. Tonight. <laughs> Just so I am going to share with you some things that are not only fun, they are utterly fantastic. I'm going to fill this drum up with a little homemade white widow. <laughs> I'm only kidding. It's actually purple kush. Check this out. Oh, yeah. These vortices are really stable if they travel long distances. See how they cut through the air? <laughs> Hurricanes and tornadoes are as nasty as they are because of this same effortless effect. Oh. Watch your head. Oh. <laughs> this is how I bide my time when the pixies aren't on tour. <laughs> but, a cat or a dog, you know how when you blow on them like a that they really don't like it? They don't like it. Yeah. You should make one of these. <laughs> anyway, I think I need another hit here. <laughs> now this drum can also make a nasty little weapon too. Imagine you're like James Bond and that there isn't any visible smoke. You could possibly deliver a ring of poisonous gas. Oh. Uh. Maybe Ooh. someone smoking a cigarette, a flammable element. <laughs> but if I was 007, weed! Man, does anybody else get the munchies? <laughs> I hope you like pickles. <laughs> you know that pickles have a great weirdness <laughs> When 120 <laughs> volts is apart. Oh my god. When down the lights. Lighty! Thank you. But here we go. Okay, what's happening right now is the electricity oh. is boiling the water oh. within the pit. <laughs> Soon a spark is going to leap between one of these forks, I don't know which one, in the still wet oh. region nearby. <laughs> That's the sodium in the pickle, which is being excited, which causes this yellow glow. It's much like a sodium lamp. Come on, baby. And I, it's pretty dangerous. I really can't keep this going for long. In fact, I think I better stop. Because I like my pickles medium to well done. The glowing pickle, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta say, I feel very flattered to be performing here tonight at the Magic Castle amongst all these great magicians. And in order to keep in this magical tone, I'd like to set the science aside for a moment and share with you something that my grandfather had taught me when I was just a boy. Calm down, everyone. <laughs> Would you please select any card? That's right. Take a look at that card. Burn that card into your mind. Do not forget that card. Just like that, your card has vanished from the deck. <laughs> So what I'd like you to do right now is the card has vanished and it's gone somewhere. What I want you to do is think in your mind, where could that card have traveled to? Don't tell me, just use your imagination. Try to think the destination of that card. I'm going to try and tune in and find out where that is. <laughs> Thank you very much.
clear voice, would you please name out loud the card you selected? Seven of Hearts. The Seven of Hearts. <laughs> Renala told me that sometimes this trick doesn't work, but tonight it did. The Seven of Hearts. <laughs> about this trick is shit or what? Yeah. <laughs> and it's a little souvenir from the Magic Castle. Oh. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> you should see Grandfather's Dub Act. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time in the show where I would like to sit down and share something extremely personal with each and every one of you. You know, uh, back in the 1980s, when I was a little kid, and anyway, uh, there was this priest. And, uh, no, I can't. I can't. Oh, 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 Simplifier version 2.0. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> I actually built this one during a week long meth bitch. <laughs> and I really don't like using this because it's one dangerous little uh, unit there. As you can see, one of its side effects, I'm a little singed up there on top. So. <laughs> Everyone, please wish me luck. Good luck. Water. H two O. Two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen. <laughs> Those are two of the most abundant elements in the universe. Life cannot exist without water. <clears throat> so it's amazing to find that both its behavior and function are so poorly understood. Oh. This is just physics hydrostatics. <laughs> Watch what happens when I turn Jack on. If I turn Jack on full throttle, I can hold this up to three feet away from my head. Check it out. I'm not trying to be Aussie. Now. Check it out. Ooh. Is he getting hot here? And this is not Michael Flatley either. Um, 